My name is Lainey Liberty, and I run Transformative Mentoring for Teens. And this is a service to support adolescents. I primarily specialize in working with teens that are pursuing home education or self-directed learning, um, but I have worked with teens before that have gone through the traditional school system. I am a teen coach and mentor, and my job is to partner with teens, adolescents, and meet them wherever they are in their life. Um, Adolescence is a time of transition, and it's really a time of trying different identities out. And it's also a time to discover exactly who they are and how they wish to fit in the world. And there's, there's a combination of brain, psychological, biological development that is transitioning at this time. And as a partner, as a mentor, I help take all of the questions that come up and I help channel their interests, their uh, passions, even their doubts and, you know, insecurities into something that is workable, into something that we can transform into uh, a life that they're interested in, in living. My goal is to provide tools so we can look at all of these things. We can uncover the beliefs that sit at the foundation that sometimes limit their, their confidence. Um, we look at tools that help them process their triggers. We look at tools that help them to channel and create some sort of scheduling. And the other thing that I do, which is so important, is I provide accountability. And so as a partner, being accountable, this is something that, that they show up for. And this is something that they start to recognize that their own strength comes in what I'm seeing in them. At the foundation is connection, it's always connection. And as an adolescent, to have an adult, a mentor or a coach walking side by side on this path with them becomes one of the, the most powerful transformation tools that they can ever have. Primarily I work with teens or adolescents from the age of 14 to about 22. However, the adolescent period is generally 13 to 25. So if there is a teen or an adolescent that is ready at even 12 or 13, by all means, I'll work with them. But the maturity level generally dictates where they are in terms of what it is that they need. The younger, the tween to teens, are generally at that period really coming into their bodies. And the biological changes are tend to be a little bit more powerful than the emotional and and developmental changes through early adolescence. And so what I'm looking for is a teen and a young person who is ready to start thinking about how they fit into the world. And our brain biology says this is the time that we do that. This is the time where the brain starts to prune off connections that no longer serve them or that they're not used and they start to really create stronger connections in the brain that this means this this means this and because of, i haven't used this piece of information we're going to create space and a path to be able to create more deeper connections deeper connections is really at the core of the adolescent development stage and so Having a mentor or a coach to help provide tools to give meaning, to help them find meaning in all of the processing that they're doing is the most important partnership that, that they can create during this period. I work with teens around the world. 
I work two ways. Depending on the personality of the teen and their comfort level and what really would work best for them, um, they will either go into one of my 12-week group programs or we will start a one-on-one -on -one coaching. My one-on-one -on -one program is exclusively for teens and young people who have something that they wish to address in the moment, or that's what, what I say is alive for them in their lives right now. And some examples might be, I've worked with teens that have had big issues in defining their boundaries. I've, had, I've worked with teens that wanted to explore how to transform their passions into a business and their, um, their issue that's holding them up is not knowing how to create um, goals for themselves and so that's something that I've worked with them. So goal setting, um, accountability and so forth. I've worked with teens that have had social anxiety. I have worked with teens that have absolutely felt that no acceptance or a sense of not belonging. And that has been very um, disabling for them. So depending on whatever it is that's alive for them right now, and it doesn't have to be a psychological issue, it's a challenge. And whatever that challenge looks like, whether it's from you know a passions or or organizational perspective, or if it, it you know sort of lays on the side of anxiety or depression or shutting down, there's tools for all of these things in in the capacity of a coach. And the difference between a psychologist or a counselor that works within psychology is they're, they're dealing with the past. And they're dealing with analyzing and sometimes they do a lot of you know, what we call talk therapy. It's important to understand that, that the past creates um, sometimes beliefs that are limiting that prevent us from moving forward. But what I do as a coach, instead of trying to unpack the past, we recognize what's already there and we create and utilize tools and practice using the tools to reprogram, to be able to move forward, to achieve the things that we wish to achieve. Now the team themselves, create the goals and the teens themselves are the ones that are talking about the things that are blocking them. It's not for me to analyze again as a partner, I'm walking alongside the team. So if, if those sorts of issues are alive for your team right now, those are the types of things that I work with them um, to create solutions for. One of the other things that I've done is I've developed a 12-week program for teens, and this is more or less what people consider a group coach. Over the three months, there's themes every week. The first month is really about journeying into the self and uncovering the mechanics of why we're experiencing certain things and, and how the subconscious works and what does it mean to have control those sorts of things. So we unpack those, those sort of fundamental mechanics to help us understand how the tools that we're using actually work. The second month we talk about purpose and it's about going inward and seeing what lights us up. And I've got lots and lots of exercise and tools and challenges to help the teens to really explore some of these things that are alive inside of them that create their uniqueness and really unpack and uncover those things. And the last month is really focused on advocacy, boundaries, um, designing our social circles, how to strategize our goals, how to be accountable to ourselves. 
Each of the 12 weeks comes packed with tools, resources, and a specific topic that is relevant to where they are in their development. I recommend this course for every single adolescent out there. I just want to share with you one of the reasons why I work with teens and what it means to me. I didn't have an easy adolescence and part of my own personal healing has been to really heal my inner adolescent. And one of the things that I never had growing up was feeling like I was seen, heard, or understood. And for me, I never wanted teen to go through that. All the work I do is based on connection. And if the connection is not there, it's not going to work. I know how to connect with teens, and that's what makes what I do very different than somebody who comes in with a clinical approach. For me, it's really about that connection. And that's what gives me purpose, and that's what gives me joy. And I just love working with this age group. It just provides meaning to me, and it provides a service. So thank you so much for your time. And if you are interested in learning more about what I do and my services, please find my profile at Project Caring. And I look forward to connecting with you.